Okay, so um, thank you everyone who is here, everyone who's watching. Um, this is the uh, public meeting for Polytechnic Heights Area Street Improvement Projects, uh, City Project Number 102927. Uh, my name is Greg Robbins. I'm the Engineering Manager for Neighborhood Streets with the City of Fort Worth Transportation and Public Works Department, and I'll be the project manager for this project. Um, with me on all, we have representatives from uh, the contractor and the consultant and the water department, and I appreciate them being here to help answer questions if needed. So this presentation is meant to provide you with some information about the scope of this project that is happening in your area and provide you with information regarding the upcoming construction and schedule. So here's the agenda that I hope to cover with my brief presentation. I'll be talking about the project as a whole, providing a summary of the improvements on each street associated with the project, uh, talking about the construction process and presenting some information, and then discussing the uh, expected schedule moving forward and then blocking off some time at the end for questions and comments. So first we'll talk about the overall scope of the improvements associated with this project. So this project includes 10 streets that are slated for reconstruction. So they are uh, Avenue C from Thrall to Wesleyan, um, Avenue E from Bishop to Campbell, Avenue G from Binkley to Collard, Holmes from Rose Delta Avenue G, Avenue H from the Dead End to Miller Avenue, uh, Thrall Street from Victory to Avenue D, Avenue A from Thrall Street to Wesleyan Street, Avenue B from Thrall Street to Binkley Street. And then we have some short, uh, short sections um, on Avenue A from Thrall to Ravine and then East Vickery from uh, Thrall Street to Ravine Street. So on the next couple of slides, I'll discuss the existing conditions pre uh, present on these streets and give a breakdown of the proposed improvements for each street. So this slide shows the existing conditions of these streets and why they were slated for reconstruction. You can see from the pictures the issues that we'll be correcting include damaged asphalt pavement, um, missing and broken curbs and gutters, damaged or missing sidewalk, uh, damaged or missing driveways, as well as uh, upgrading or replacing the water, sewer, and storm drain utilities under the street. So next I'll go through each street to discuss the improvements that are expected to be made. Okay, so uh, these are some streets that are being funded by the 2022 bond. I'll get into that in just a little bit, but we have Avenue C, uh, Avenue E, and Avenue G. They're highlighted there on the screen. Uh, for these streets, we are uh, upgrading the existing uh, water uh, pipes under the street from 8 inch to, to 12 inch in some cases. Uh, as far as paving improvements, we'll be uh, repaving re the street with concrete pavement, with concrete curbs. Uh, also providing new concrete driveways with a minimum of 11 foot width or match whatever your existing driveway currently is and um, new, new five foot sidewalks on, on each of these streets. Uh, some more uh, streets being funded by the bond. Uh, we have Holmes Street over there on the left. You can see it highlighted um, on this street. We're upgrading the existing water and sewer under the street and also providing new concrete pavement with concrete curbs and new concrete, dri new concrete driveways. Uh, Avenue H, the little one there on the right, in the uh, bottom right corner of the map, uh, Avenue H from the dead end to Miller Avenue will also be getting new concrete pavement with concrete curbs and redoing the, the driveways with uh, 11 foot minimum width. Um, Thrall Street uh, from Victory to Avenue D. In this street, we're going to be replacing the existing 8-inch water. We're also going to be uh, replacing the existing uh, large diameter storm drain under the street as well. As far as paving improvements goes, we have uh, new concrete pavement with concrete curbs, uh, new concrete driveways, and new concrete uh, five-foot concrete sidewalks. We have a couple of streets on this project that are being funded by the Water Department. They are Avenue A from Thrall to Wesleyan and, and Avenue B from Thrall to Binkley. And uh, these streets, we're going to be upgrading the existing water line to an 8-inch. And as far as proposed paving improvements, we'll be uh, replacing these streets with asphalt pavement um, between the existing curbs and doing some limited, um, limited curb replacement as well on those streets. 
Uh, we have a couple of streets that are being funded by stormwater because of the stormwater improvements that are uh, taking place under those streets. So we have Avenue A uh, from Thrall going about 120 feet to the west, and then we have Vickery uh, between Thrall and Ravine Street. So these um, will get new new paving improvements matching what was there and uh, the stormwater improvements underneath the street. Okay, so next I'll provide some information about the construction process to give you an idea of what you can expect and answer some frequently asked questions. Okay, so why are we doing this project in the first place? Well, uh, in May of last year, the residents of Fort Worth voted What's to pass the bond What's up Doug Poop? I'm sorry? It sounds like sorry, someone wasn't um, muted. I can take care of that, Greg. Okay, not a problem. Um, I just thought there was a question. Okay, so anyway, so why are we doing this project? Uh, like I said, in May of 2022, last year, uh, the residents of Fort Worth voted to pass a bond program which would fund street reconstruction projects such as this one, uh, would target locations in the city most in need of improvements. And so when these locations were identified, we, we the Transportation and Public Works Department, partnered with the Water Department and our Stormwater Department to replace the underground utilities that are also in need of improvement. Okay, so underground utilities are the first phase of the construction process. So be on the lookout for a notice that looks like this. Uh, the first one will give you uh, a week's heads up that construction is coming so you can be prepared. And the next one will look like this, uh, which will indicate that construction is happening the next day. So this will give you uh, a heads up of, what, of when you can expect construction to start uh, near, your, near your property. So during construction of water lines, um, there will be times uh, where your service will be interrupted. So water will be turned off for a, a few hours when your water service is transferred from the existing, existing line under the street to a temporary water service. And we do that so that we can replace the water line in the street with a new one and your service won't be, uh, your water service will be minimally interrupted. So before this happens, you'll be, you'll be notified. The contractor will, will knock on your door and let you know that when the water is going to be turned off. So here's some information on the new water services that will be installed. Uh, note that we will only replace water services up to your property line and we don't make any improvements onto private property. Uh, flushing the, the water line is, is an important step in putting the new water line in service. So if you see water uh, running down the street, it could be that the inspector is getting water samples so we can test them to ensure that no bacteria is present in the new line. So uh, don't, don't shut it off. Don't worry about it. That's part of the construction process. Uh, as mentioned before, to be able to keep water service to your home while the new pipe is being installed, we have to run a temporary water service to your house. Um, it, it'll look uh, like this. It'll be a pipe running down, running down the curb. And uh, so please note that while you're on temporary water, you will be billed based on an average of the previous month's uh, usages. So um, you won't be directly billed for the water you use while you're on temporary water. Uh, the water department will use previous month's data uh, for your water bill. Okay, so a question that comes up a lot is, well, we need access to your property. Well, probably not. Well, most likely we will not. But in the event we do need access for something, we'll contact you first before doing so. Um, for the new sewer that's being installed on, on homes, uh, your sewer service will not be interrupted during construction. We'll be installing new services to each property and installing a new clean out at the property line. And what that looks like is in this slide, here's a diagram that shows which portions of the new sewer line the city owns and maintains. And as mentioned, uh, we will install a new sewer service up to the property line and then install a clean out. So this shows, this little diagram shows what the city uh, is responsible for replacing as part of this project. Uh, some of you may be wondering how we deal with existing irrigation systems. If your irrigation system is near to the street, if you have sprinkler, sprinkler heads near the street, uh, the contractor will most likely have to cut and cap your sprinkler line prior to construction. Um, if the contractor 
uh, breaks or caps your irrigation system, they will be the one to fix it when construction is complete. Okay, so here is some information regarding the improvements being made above ground. Uh, on bond funded streets, uh, all curbs will be replaced and limited portions of curb will be replaced on water department funded streets. Um, if your driveway is going to be replaced, the city will only replace the part of the driveway that is in the city's right of way, that is to say on the city's property, uh, which we refer to as the apron or the driveway approach. The city does not replace the driveway from the street all the way to your garage. Um, new concrete sidewalks are also expected to be included on a majority of the bond funded streets. Another common question we get is whether you'll have access to your driveway. Uh, unfortunately, there will be times when access is limited. You won't be able to access uh, at your driveway when the driveway itself is being replaced, um, as well as when the pavement in front of your house is being installed. The contractor and the inspector will let you know when this is going to happen so that you can make other parking arrangements and don't come home one day to a surprise that you can't actually get to your house. Uh, prior to construction, the contractor is going to be taking a pre-construction video uh, showing the existing conditions before they started work um, so that uh, we can make sure that we're putting everything back at the end of the project like it was. Um, we also encourage you as a property owner to take pictures and videos as well. So make a record of what uh, your, your front yard looks like prior to construction. That way we have it documented just in case the, the need arises that we need to take a look at those pictures. Uh, when the contractor is doing work in the street, there will be some temporary lane closures. Uh, so keep a, keep a lookout for those and how traffic is being is, is being moved. Uh, signage will be posted to keep drivers aware that the work is occurring. Our hours of construction are between 7 a.m. Uh, to 6 p.m. On, on weekdays, and if requested by the contractor, 9 to, to 5 on Saturdays. Another frequent question we get is how uh, trash service will be dealt with during construction. Um, so if the contractor is working in your street when the trash is to be collected, they'll help you out by making sure that your bins are moved to a location where they can be picked up, whether that's just uh, moved you know, further little ways down the street or across the street, whatever that means. Uh, well, they'll help you make sure that your, your trash continues to get picked up during construction. Okay, so here's some information on what to do if you encounter an emergency or non-emergency situation uh, related to water and sewer. So if, uh, if you encounter a leak or a water leak or something like that, um, it, so water main breaks, sewer backups, things like that, um, you can download, uh, for non-emergencies, you can download the My Fort Worth app and it allows you to easily report these non-emergency items. The emergency uh, number is there, there at the top, the number that ends in 4477. But also, it's just handy as a Fort Worth resident to have this app. It has a lot of useful tools and I'd recommend, I'd recommend downloading it. Okay, so I'm gonna talk a little bit about the construction phasing and the anticipated schedule. Okay, so with regard to tip, the typical construction process, underground utilities will be installed first. So that will be the water and sewer and the storm drain on thrall. Um, after these are installed and connected, there will be a temporary pavement patch put in place until the street is ready to be paved. So the picture on the right there kind of shows what it will look like after the utilities have been installed and the temporary patch has been placed. For streets that are gonna be repaved in concrete, um, all the existing pavement uh, curbs and driveways will be excavated first, then the pavement and curb will be installed together. The contractor will most likely do half the street at a time so that the other side will still have access while the new concrete cures. Finally, they'll come back and install the driveways. That'll be one of the last things that, that occurs. If your street is being slated to be replaced with asphalt, um, the process looks like this. So the existing curbs will be replaced along with the existing driveways first. Then the street itself will be will be demonstrate uh, will be uh, demolished. After that, um, 
uh, the paving will be will be replaced. Okay, so here's an example of what you can expect the new concrete streets to look like when it's finished. And here's an example of what uh, an asphalt street section is going to look like. Uh, we will be installing new concrete sidewalks in many areas along with new wheelchair ramps at intersections. Here's a picture of what you can expect those to look like when they're finished. So let's talk briefly about the construction schedule. So here's the anticipated schedule broken down kind of by by, by chunks, if you will, uh, several streets. Since, since the project has several streets kind of in the same area, the contractor will be taking them on kind of in in, 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 in multi-street chunks. So uh, construction activities are, are going to begin on September 21st of this year, and is, the entire construction process is expected to run through October of 2024. So we're going to start the construction there on September 21st, and then the contractor is going to move on to Holmes and Avenue G to start the utility work, and then uh, it's going to be moving in phases to Avenue E and H, and then Thrall, Vickery, and Avenue C, and finally Avenue A and B. Um, please note that just because the schedule shows several months that your street is going to be under construction, that does not mean that construction will be actively ongoing that entire time. Um, there will be uh, times between when the utilities are finished with their installation and when the paving crews will come through. That's why they do that temporary patch like I showed in one of the slides to, uh, to bridge that time between when the utilities are finished and the paving crew comes through. And I also want to say that uh, this is the contractor's best estimate of the schedule at this time. Uh, things are, you know, can possibly change uh, due to site conditions, but this is what they anticipate for right now. Okay, so we've come to the end of the presentation. We'll now move into our questions and answers and questions and comments portion of the presentation. So if there's anyone on the call uh, or in the meeting right now that has a question, uh, now's the time you can unmute yourself and ask it or feel free to type it in the chat. Thank you, Greg. This is Laura. I'm going to monitor the chat here for you just to see if somebody does have a question. And then I know you already said this, but if someone is not asking a question here, like you said, this is being recorded and we'll have it posted to the city of Fort Worth webpage and the project page, and we'll have the slides uploaded as well. Thank you. That's right. Thank you, Laura. Yeah, this presentation will be available later if you want to refer back to it. So, like I said, please, if, uh, if you'd like, feel free to unmute yourself and, and ask a question. Well, I don't see any questions in the chat. Um, while we're waiting, a couple more slides, feel free to jump in and ask your question, but I'll move, go ahead and move on to this slide. Uh, where can I get some more information? So, uh, so progress on this project will be updated on the city's website. So you can go there and like Laura said, you'll be able to find a recording of this meeting and the presentation slides. You'll be able to find contact information. You'll be able to find information about where we are in the project as far as status updates, things like that. So uh, the website is located here. So I can, if anybody needs it, I can probably copy and paste this and put it in the chat. Let me do that, sorry. I'm gonna copy and paste this link and I'll put it in the chat if anybody needs to copy it. So there's a link to it. I just posted it in the chat. 
but you can you can get to this website by uh, also going to the city of Fort Worth's website, fortworthtexas.gov, and entering the project number into the into the search bar. Uh, search bar 102927 is the project number. So if you just go there and type in that number, you'll be able to find this project's web page. Greg, I do see that we have a very important person on the call, and that would be um, Assistant Director Tony Shalola from the Water Department. Thank you, sir. Hi, Tony. Thank you for joining. Okay, so um, here's some contact information for me, as well as uh, as well as Joseph, who will be the construction inspector on this project. Um, my my phone number, my email is listed there. Please feel free to call me. Uh, feel free to email me if you come up with any questions you thought of later, or there's a question that you just want to ask privately. That's fine. Please feel free to call me. That's what I'm here for. Um, in any time during construction. Uh, so uh, Joseph will be the construction inspector. He'll be the one on site. You'll probably see him driving around. If you see him, feel free to flag him down, ask him a question. But if you, you can call him, you can call me. If you have any issues during construction, we'd be happy to help you. So um, if there's no questions and I don't see anything in the chat right now, um, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude the meeting. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for everyone who joined. Thank you for everyone who who's on the call. And I hope everyone has a good evening. Thank you.